back again in the world of a Legend of Zelda. I'm looking kind of forward to this actually, strangely enough. And uh, here we are. And of all, as always, we're going to have a quick look at what today's plan is. And of course, we're going to be heading to level three. I must actually get up my little pointer here. So we're starting here again in this location. And then we're going to take a little trip up here and we're going to pass the shop, which I have now marked on the map, as you can see. And we're going to head across this bridge. And then when we get over here, we actually have a few little bits to take a look at on the way before we get to the level three dungeon. So as you can see, we have a little door here, which we have a question mark. What's in there? And do we have another door here? Question mark. What's in there? Is it another shop? Is there more special items? Then of course we'll be continuing on down here and back around and we'll be heading in to level 3. So level 3 is today's uh, mission I suppose and I will go back now to the gameplay so that you can all see me playing the game. Right, so we're heading off to the left on our quest to begin with and um, as always we're going to take on a few enemies Get a few rupees here and there, you know, um, and a few health items when needed. I can walk through. Br oh, oh! I can walk through enemies when they're in the quote-unquote paused mode. There's a new enemy that I haven't seen. Two. Well, ugh, okay, that's a dodgy screen. Uh, that's a very dodgy screen. I'm gonna stay away from that screen right now because I don't want to die. Okay. All right, let's go back to these Octoroks, which are way easier to kill. Pick it, pick it up. Pick up the health. What I've noticed as well, I didn't really point it out in the last uh, level. I did actually notice it, um, that some of the enemies will spawn and they'll be in a kind of a more aggressive state or like a faster state. And then some of them will be slower. So um, they have actually kind of coded that in the game for obviously variety, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, right, so here is... Whoa. Here's the bridge, the bridge of death. Oh, I can't wait until I'm strong enough or have the item to take on those Zolas because, God, they're annoying. Like, oh my sweet God, they're so annoying. I'm gonna try to take one on here. I can't pause it with the boomerang, so... Uh, boomerang. The boomerang, so I actually can't do anything about it. Right, so down to the cave, the first cave. The first place that we're going to head today, away from all these enemies. Meet the old man at the grave. Who is this? It's an old lady, is it? Old lady. An old lady. Yeah. According to the map. According to the map, it says Link finds many different people in the caves. He can get many things in these places. And things are also hidden where you wouldn't expect them to be. Link needs... Link, listen carefully to the old man's words. So is an old man, you will have to pay this old woman for valuable information. Okay, hopefully we don't have to pay her, but that is an old lady as far as I can see. Right, I'm going to take down that note. Okay, thank you very much, old lady. Oh, you can't attack the old lady. The old lady is invincible. Um, right, thank you very much. I need to meet some old man at a grave. Sounds a bit dodgy, but I suppose I will meet an old man at a grave at some stage. Right, what do we have? Octorox. Octorox, lots of them. They all need to die. Oh. Yes. See, look, he's a really aggressive one. He's a fast one. So if you kind of chase him down. Okay, here's our next cave. What's in here? Another old lady. No. You got anything for me? This old lady has nothing to say to me. How weird. Can I bomb her? Can I bomb the old lady? Should I bomb the old lady? <laughs> I completely bombed the old lady. What about shoot her with an arrow? Ah, oh, it costs rupees to shoot arrows. Right, I, can't, I won't use that because that'll be a waste. Okay, right, we have... I'm going to mark that actually on my map. Um, so, I'm going to get my little... I'm going to type this in. So we have, um, we can quit them because now it's changed, right? We have old lady right there. And then we have also 
old lady question mark says nothing <laughs> brilliant and now we're going to continue on very quickly down to the level three dungeon okay strange uh i'll have to remember that old lady that she has nothing for me or didn't do anything for me ah uh, my favorite right we'll move on move past them none of them are going to drop any items that i particularly need i did hear it say it said about uh the original Legend of Zelda that a lot of people kind of find it a little annoying in the overworld that they actually find that it's too um, What's the word? Oh, I've done it again. Ah Right here. We are I've Fought some guys, All right? Yeah, so people have said that they find the overworld is actually a bit overwhelming with the amount of people that you have to fight and uh that they kind of believe that the overworld should have been a little easier overall and the underworld should have been the place that was just hard so that people could kind of enjoy the sights and sounds and go exploring but uh like i can see why people would say that but i think you know you need that added level of challenge as well for zoom yeah that's what i thought like, is there any point in fighting these guys at all? Because they didn't drop anything the last time. Here we are, already on level 3. Whoa. We've moved quick. Presumably none of these will move. Like, I'm probably wasting my time, actually, doing anything with them. So let's move on. It's a green dungeon. You know, the changing colour of the dungeons as well kind of reminds me of Prince of Persia. There's a new enemy. Oh no, that's not a new enemy, that's the other type of gel. So, Zell and Gel, wasn't it? Um, so they break up. What's interesting is I've played uh, Link's Awakening and I've had experience... Yeah. I've had experience of some of these enemies in that game. So, like, the, the gels are in that game. I don't think they do damage to you, though, in that game for some reason. I have a feeling all they do in... Link's Awakening is they actually slow you down if you walk over them. You kind of get stuck in them. That makes sense. More of them. So this is the gel dungeon. Okay. That's grand. Well, stopping them with the boomerang makes them ten times easier to take care of. Oh, I might be able to shift one of these rocks. Oh no, I don't have to because I can just get in here. Like, that lone rock, these lone rocks look like things that I could possibly... Uh, there we are, okay, right, it was worth killing them all, as always. In every room, it seems like, like, not in every room there's something, but in every room you should attempt to search for something. What are these guys? I haven't fought these guys yet. Oh! They can only be fought from the side. They can only be fought from the side. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe these guys... The bone arrow is the one. No, no it's not. He blocked that as well. Presumably it might be bombs, to be honest, are the things. But it's mostly... It's actually from the side is when, when to attack them. Or the back, probably. Oh, typical. Okay, so what we have here is the Dark Nut. A dark nut, and the knight who lives in the labyrinths, he has a lot, lots of attacking power. He repels Link's attacks from the front with his shield. So I'm going to have to take on those guys potentially from the side and behind like I've been trying to. Right, here we are again. Let's see if I can take them on with the bombs, though. I can, and he actually gives me bombs back. Bombs is the way forward, so with these guys. If you can afford them. Ah! Oh! I found a secret tunnel. Here we are. 
there. Some free bombs. Uh, should I go into that secret tunnel? So th that's the first secret tunnel I've seen in the game. I kind of want to see, would the map have shown that area? Like, it looks like it possibly would have. Ooh. Right, we have the compass, so we now know the general direction of the piece of Triforce. Right, the bat, okay. Um, I could probably go into this door and get hit. I might die before I get through this room. I'm definitely gonna die with the Hell Knights. The Dark Nuts. Up we go. Can we have some health? No. No. <laughs> Classic. Okay, let's go into the secret room, so. I wonder would there have been a way back around to that area. They're hard to take on. For obvious reasons. I have to kind of... Uh. Uh. Damn, and I wasted a bomb as well. <sighs> okay, well, we're in a new room now and we've got two keys for this room. So let's fight all the guys in this room. Uh, if I can, without dying. Who knows, who knows, who knows. Oh, like, and those guys just drop no health or anything, like, a key. Right, so we've three keys. Three keys for three doors. So let's open this one on the left. And have a look. Ah, yes, I remember this is a room with the bats. Oh. Just give me some health, please. Oh, oh, I can get the bats with the boomerang, can I not? Can I not? Can I not? I can. Yes! And I got a bomb. It feels like one of these might be pushable. But I might be wrong. I am wrong. And I really need health and they did not give me health. That's useless. What the hell is that? <laughs> we'll go back out and we'll go back in. And we'll fire a boomerang across the room when I get in. Boomerang has no effect on this new enemy. Dead. Absolutely dead. Okay, well, let's try another one of these doors. See what's up here. Right, we've got more of these dudes, which are easy enough to deal with, thankfully. Pushable. Brilliant, okay, well, and does this one do anything? Probably not. I am right across from the Triforce to my right, but I'm gonna head up through this door and see what's up here now. Ah, another secret, probably. Did you get the sword from the old man on top of the waterfall? No, I didn't, and I could probably use it, so I'm going to have to look into that, sir. Okay, I've taken that note, and I'm going to continue on. Moving through level three. Level three. Level three! Boomerang! Only the boomerang will save your life from the bats. Brilliant, okay. Just all for a key. I really want that map. Where's that map? Give me the map. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I know. I know about the sword. Top of the waterfall. I'm gonna have to once, hopefully, if I can actually pass this dungeon. Uh, I hope I'll be able to... Yeah! I hope I'll be able to look at the map and find that waterfall or even see where that waterfall might be. And that was the map. Okay, well I know where the map is, so I'm gonna go get that map. Okay, get the map. 
and we have a map, and this is the dungeon <laughs> that is shaped like a swastika. Brilliant. Um, I don't know if I finished my thought way earlier on in this episode where I was saying the uh, different colored dungeons remind me of Prince of Persia. And the reason it does is because in Prince, Prince in the Windows version of Prince of Persia that was released later on, the Prince of Persia collection, uh, they kind of redid the levels um, and they did them in a way that has... Oh, they did them in a way that each of the levels has a different color that it didn't have in the original uh, port of it on like PC, the original PC port. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just the changing colors of the dungeons is reminiscent of it. This is not a game when you're in a dungeon fighting people that you can talk easily over. Now I'm curious, can I bomb this wall here? To my... Right. Okay, let's try this again. There is a secret door. I believe the boss is behind this door and I'm not prepared to take him on. Who is it? Oh my god, what is it? Holy smokes. Oh, okay. I think I understand. Ah, come on. Come on. That's very hard now. That is very hard. That's the first boss I died, I think, on... First Gota. So this... The swastika... <laughs> the, <laughs> the swastika dungeon is the most evil of all dungeons so far. I have a real big feeling that I might need to upgrade this sword. Like, I don't think it's strong enough to be taking on... Uh, these knights with any, like, genuine, uh, power. Like, I think I just need more power, unfortunately. Like, how many, how many current hits does it take to take on a knight? Like... Does the boomerang stop them from behind? Because if it does, that makes my life a little easier. Can I fire an arrow at them from behind? There's only one way to find out. I don't think I can. I don't want to waste any more of my precious ammunition. How many, how many hits does it take, though? Oh my god. You don't have enough time to take them on at all. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna take one more check on the left side of this dungeon, and then I might actually refer to the map and see if I can upgrade the sword because it feels like I'm underpowered here. Like, big time. And uh, that old lady as well told us to meet somebody at a graveyard, so potentially that graveyard person might be able to give us some equipment, much needed equipment, to take on the most evil of all dungeons. <laughs> the one of the Third Reich. Okay. What's in here now? More of these knights, no doubt. Five of them, like. Are they seriously expecting me to be able to take on five of these knights? In this room. Can I, can I even fight those guys? Do they do damage to me at all? I think they do, but I'm not sure. No, they're not actually doing damage to me. They're just pushing me around. 
Oh, I actually can't use my sword for a minute uh, when when I get hit by that. Are they, they're like stunning me? Whatever these things are, I'm gonna have to look them up in the manual. Can they be attacked? Can they be stopped? Maybe the arrow. I'll try the arrow on them. No, arrow is, does nothing to them either. And the bomb, maybe if I waste the bomb on them. Bomb does nothing to them either. Okay, I'll leave you be, guys. I'm going to... Uh, head on through this door and hopefully not die and I was up here and to the left so there's a lot left to do in this dungeon like I'm not going to be able to take on this boss I need more bombs as well so I'm going to head out into the world and we're going to take a look at the map I'm going to die actually so I can get some health back we're going to take a look at the map okay so looking at the map here we can see we're on level 3 here, and I think <clears throat> all the way up here we've got a question mark. <clears throat> and that, to me, looks like a waterfall. So, right there. So I think we're going to have to head up there. That looks like a bit of a long journey to get there. Um, we've got to head up towards level 1 again. So we're going to have to head up to level 1, and then we're going to have to skirt around that lake and alongside a river to get to there and see if we can meet an old man. Is he going to be potentially in a cave? That's a possibility. So I suppose what we will do is we will head that direction now and hope and pray that we can make it there in what I would like to describe as one piece. Now actually I'm going to quickly refer to the map and see is there a shorter way there from where I currently am. I'm going to refer to my own map for change. And there kind of actually is a way that I might be able to get a, a look at more items, actually. So let's have a look here again at the map. So if you actually look down here, we're at level three. And if we head up north here and skirt around the lake, the level four lake, this way we have a door there that we can take a look at. Put a question mark, see what's in there. And we also then have this area, which maybe looks like a graveyard, potentially. Is that a graveyard? Oh, I can't actually make it that way. I might as well go there, though, while I'm in this vicinity, maybe. And then head back down around the way I described. I thought that there was a way through here, but it turns out there's not. So, that's what we will do, though. We will head up north now. I think it's north, anyway. I think I'm on the right map. So, I'm going to head north up here. Try not to die north and then going to go right 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 lovely lovely stuff more enemies to kill oh a fairy giving me full health and giving me the power of throwing swords and the throwing sword is a thing i think as far as i can see like i've played the briefest few minutes of uh ooh, of zelda 2 just to have a run around. I've seen videos of it over the years as well on many different channels. Let's see what's in here. Another shop. Okay, right. Well, I can mark. mark. I can mark. Oh, I've done it again. I've done it. Why do I keep doing this? Well, I can mark it off anyway. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? So, in this place. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. Right. In this place here, we have another shop. Brilliant. Right. Another shop. So that's, that can be marked as shop. And we will head up north now. And I will this time move actually back here. Do I want anything from the shop? Bombs. Yes. I want bombs. Give me the bombs. Take my money. Give me the bombs. Give me the bombs. Goodbye, sir. Zola, leave me alone. Okay, we've got like more of those kind of soldier dudes and we've got these really annoying enemies that just pop out of the ground and cause all sorts of hassle and pain and suffering I'll just stand right here and do the damage to them 
At least I can actually do damage to these guys. Fairy. Fairy. Give me the fairy. It's all about the fairies. And they were nice enough here not to make me have to deal with. Ugh. They were nice enough here not to make me deal with uh, goddamn Zola as well on top of it. Is he gonna be fast one as well? Oh, we found a secret entrance. Oh my god. Right, go into the secret entrance. Some respite. Another shock. Boy, this is ex really expensive. So what do we have here? We've got a blue ring, we've got a key, and we've got a piece of meat. Oh, I wish I kept some of my rupees. I want this. What's the blue, what's the meat for though? Let's, let us refer to the manual and hopefully get back from the manual this time. So I can also mark off here that this question mark is also an expensive shop. Blue ring. I need to remember that for myself. And that's a really annoying ringing in the background now. So that's the expensive shop. I'm going to change the color to that. I'm going to change it to pink so it stands out. It's not changing color for some reason. That's okay. Right. So that's the expensive shop. Right. Next, 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 next. What I want to look at now is... I want to look at what, 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 I want to look at an enemy, right, or an item. The blue ring, I want to look at the blue ring. Blue ring, blue ring, blue ring, blue ring. See, this is, I'm simulating what it would be like to actually flick through a manual back in the day. Right, the blue and red rings. The blue ring reduces damage inflicted by the enemy by half, and the red ring reduces by one to one quarter. So basically what you're saying is I really, really badly need, I really badly need this blue ring. I need this. Right, so do I have to go on a bit of a rupee hunting mission now? I think I might do some grinding for rupees and come back here. Right, on my rupee hunting challenge, uh, I also want to see if that secret replenishes itself up here. Like, if you wait long enough. Um, if I actually survive this, which I hope I do. Oh god, I didn't survive it. <laughs> I just wanted to see was the secret still there, so I'm gonna have to go back there again and continue my rupee hunting challenge. Or grinding, whatever you want to call it. Okay, after some considerable more trial and error, I got there eventually. Very, very annoying, but whatever. Okay, right, so let's take on this asshole. <sighs> He's gonna be one of them. I can see why this game is considered a bit trying at times. A bit trying. A bit, bit trying. Okay, can you please not be one of the fast ones this time? Thank you. And you're perfect. You're dead. Right, is the rupees in here or are they gone? Rupees are gone. That was big. Complete and utter waste of time. But that's alright, that's alright, that's alright. Right. I still have essentially a mission. And that is that I could head up, as I said, towards where I believe the waterfall is. So I can do that whilst also trying to collect more and more rupees. And also kind of discovering a little about the map and the world. Because I haven't done much, we'll say, exploring in this playthrough yet. So I think it's about high time that I did. And hopefully not lose any health. Let's have a look up here, because this actually isn't on my map. Alright, okay, a new enemy. Up the side of a cliff, that's fine. Right, well that looks exactly like what I think it looks like, and I hope I don't die here. As techites can be a little bit on the annoying side. Just in terms of their movement pattern can be a little irritating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. Does that look like a bombable wall? Kinda does, right? try it. Don't try it. Like when you're bombing the wall, you have to put the bomb in front of the wall or on the wall. 
Found a secret. Take anyone you want. I always, I always want another heart piece, like. Gotta be the heart piece. I'm sure I'll be able to buy those red potions, but the heart piece, I just need more life. Okay, thank you very much, cheers. More of those annoying statues. Okay, yeah. Right, we're gonna head across this desert as quickly as we can, within reason. More of those, no doubt, yeah. A lot of them. Holy smokes. I'll deal with them at a later date. Hopefully not die. Okay, cool, I'm out the other side now. And I've got a feeling... I don't know if those guys do damage. I don't really want to know, I just want to get off this screen without dying. Oh, more of them, more of them. Okay, yeah, yeah. Falling rocks. Literal falling rocks. Oh, just not worse than dying. Right, so I'm currently in this location here. I know I'm kind of jumping around at different points here, but I might as well explore some of the secrets on the map for the moment. And if I head up here, we've got a question mark here to look at. But then we've also kind of got what looks kind of like a Switch, actually, a game. Uh, Nintendo Switch up here, as you can see, there we go, there's the one Switch controller and the other Switch controller on the screen. And, uh, I've seen, I think that, kind of, areas that look like this, uh, could potentially have fairies in them that might give us an extra heart piece, so, I'm going to make my way up there and have a look. Uh, so, as they say, why not? Right, so here we go, we're gonna head up here. I'm still on only 156 rupees, so I don't know if I'm going to be making my way all the way to more than that. Okay, I feel the secret on this screen is actually something to do with that, and I don't think I currently have any way of dealing any damage or picking up that. So we'll come back there at a later date, but we do have this, and I was correct, it is a fairy. And she just fills us up with life. Is she gone when I come back? Because if that's the case, it was kind of a waste. No. She's there anytime. So, Nintendo Switch. We'll call her the Nintendo Switch. Um, we'll call up here. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> so we'll call... Get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. So this is going to be called... The... Switch Life. Fairy. The Switch Life Fairy. Brilliant. Okay, moving swiftly on. Can we finally get to that bloody waterfall? Um, right, so I'm gonna make a concede so they can damage me. That's really annoying. Okay, I need to make a concited effort now to make my way up to the waterfall without dying. They all take so much life. Ugh. Just wasted three hearts on that sc the one screen. Right, pause it for two seconds. <sighs> Move out of the way. Lads, give me something. If you're not gonna give me a heart piece, just give me... Give me something. Something, like... I don't think I can damage those guys. Not yet, anyway. I don't think I have the right right uh, weapon for them. Oh, I'm not going to make it, am I? Oh, the rock again is going to get me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is it more rocks? Is it more rocks? It's more rocks. It's more rocks. It's more rocks. Oh, there's the waterfall. There's the waterfall. There is so many tectite things. And there's a bloody Zola. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can brave this mountain again, with all the falling rocks. The falling, falling rocks. Yeah, yeah, okay, right, we're onto the screen with the tectites. Just attack them all. Make them feel unwelcome. Okay, right, hang on now, hang on now. Oh, one more! Right. Uh, so there is the waterfall. Do I have to go up to the top of the waterfall? So do I have to go up to this screen? What is that? 
Do I want to fight that? Or am I good? I'll just go into the cave. I assume the old man will be in here. Master, using it and you can have this. Do I need to ma do anything other than just use it? Right, well I have a more powerful sword now, that's wonderful news. Can I fight this guy with it? It certainly seems like it does more damage. Which is a good thing. Can I kill a Zola with it? Is that a possibility? I can kill Zolas. Oh! Oh, there is a lord. Right, this Zola is going down. Oh, it's such a pleasure to be able to kill a Zola. Hmm. Right, well, I have the sword now. Um, I have some extra lives. So, part of me feels that I'll be able to maybe take on level 3 a bit easier. But I do still feel like I need that blue ring to kind of half my damage a bit. Because... Even though I have a stronger sword, those guys with the shields are still going to cause me big problems. Right, yeah. I, I can die it because I can get back to level the level 3 dungeon. So I'm just um, at this location here on the prefaces of this screen. And I've just noticed that there is another two Nintendo Switches here that I could potentially check out for maybe some additional... Uh, heart pieces maybe on this one and also potentially just a full life fairy here which would be very handy leading into level 3 then so that is going to be my current my current plan of action is that so I'm going to remove this and we will head on our merry way to get there and hopefully I can survive until I do get to both of these screens luckily as well now I can take out uh, woo just get up there. It is wonderful. A full life fairy. Thank you very much, madam. So that is a full life fairy. That's handy because every time I want to go in then to this dungeon, I could actually go up to the full life fairy, get the full life and come back out. Right, so let us check now what is at the second, the second screen. There's a secret here. What does a secret mean? Does a secret mean that I have to drop a bomb somewhere? Hmm. Not sure yet about that. I'll have to come back. Maybe I'll get some prompt off another character in the game at some stage. But anyway, I'm going to head down now. And hopefully, all going well. Ah, you could have given me a heart, like, all going well, I'll be able to get into dungeon number three without too much of hassle. There we are, that's what you love to see, a clock right at the start of the battle. And some bombs going into the level three, which would be handy. And there's always at least one guy guarding the temple for some reason. Right, where were we? So, I wonder will I be able to take on these really annoying guys a little easier this time around? Oh, that's the greatest thing of all time. This sword absolutely strikes down these blobs in one go and I don't have to deal with the second form of him. So yeah, that's another thing that doesn't, as far as I know, two fairies as far as I know in this game, the actual quote-unquote Master Sword, which is a serious staple, doesn't actually show up in this game. Oh, let's see now. Oh, they're killable. They're certainly killable this way. Oh, I like that. Brilliant. Brilliant. Lovely. So the new sword was really exactly what I needed. I can boomerang these guys. Head in there! Oh. Right, is this a locked door with five of them, right? Jesus Christ. Are they expecting a lot of me, no? Oh! 
I took him on head head on. Uh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Bastard. <laughs> Skirting around like. Uh, dead and a heart. <laughs> a beautiful thing. <gasps> you gotta be so ready for them. I'm actually full on sweating. Is this, is this the Dark Souls of its day? Oh! Hey! Is this the Dark Souls of its day? I don't think so. It is a lot harder than you would think it would be, though. I have to give it that much. Ah, oh, we've got a secret door and a million knights. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Damn. Damn it. I'm gonna have to do that again, am I? Well, in the process of dying, like, 25 more times, um, just because this section is quite hard, I've actually now grinded up to 150, or 250, uh, five now, um, rupees, that's what they're called, rubies, rupees, and so that means I'm gonna head to the guy with the shop with the expensive items, and I'm going to get that ring to, uh, take off a good bit of the damage that I'm receiving inside this particular temple. Uh, temple? Level? Dungeon? I don't know what they're called, but we'll see you there. Okay, let's go down into this guy's little dungeon, and let us buy... Yeah, boy, this series is really expensive. That's a lot of rupees. So we now have the blue ring, which takes off... Which, which basically minimizes- oh, and my outfit has changed. It minimizes the damage I take from many of the enemies. I did not know in the original Zelda that he actually had different colored tunics. That is a first for me, so I am now in a white tunic. And does that mean I'm in this white kind of tunic for the rest of the game? How unusual. Okay, let's see how that fares me anyway, back in, uh, level three. Hopefully I can actually pass it this time without too much, um, pain. Uh, since I got this sword as well, it, because of being able to take these guys out in one time, it actually means that they often drop rupees, which is excellent, because these guys are a good way to grind, actually. To get rupees for myself. I do feel nice and powerful now, though, which is good. Right, let's see how we get on against the knights this time. Woo! Leave me alone. Right. Death for him. Lovely. Death for him as well. Right, we're going into the lion's den here though. This is where it gets a little more on the hard side. Just go out of the room. I don't want to get hit by a bat. I don't want to lose my ability of, uh, you know, firing my sword. Oh, I've lost it. God, I fluffed it. Goddamn bats. Okay, here we go. Right, here's going to be a slightly hard room to deal with. Got a bomb back though, that's good. Yeah, just bomb them. Bomb them all. Bomb them to hell. Give me that. No more bombs left. Ah! But I do have uh, a flying sword, which hopefully is will come in handy. He is, he's given me four bombs. <laughs> Here's the room. Here is the room that's going to cause me the issues now. This is the room of issues. I am tanking their hits a little more, which is good, though.
quickly. Just do damage. I can kind of tank their hits, which is good, so I can kind of just hack and slash a little more, I think. I feel I have to still be a little careful. They're hard, they're hard, they're hard, they're hard, they're hard. I'm literally, I'm like, I feel like I'm sweating. Oh, oh god. Like, maybe I don't get anything if I get them all. Let's go downstairs and get the item. Go downstairs and get the item. Don't die. Don't die because bloody bats. Right, one bat down. Two bats down. Three bats down, four bats down. Brilliant. Okay, cool. I have picked up what I believe is the raft. So I now have the raft. Let us look. Let us consult the manual and see what the raft does. Right, here is the item known as... The item known as the raft. Or, yeah, raft. Okay, Link can float across seas lakes, the seas and lakes when he launches this from a dock. Okay, cool. So I suppose I'll be able to go to a dock once I finish this dungeon, if I can actually make my way through this dungeon. And uh, I'll be able to go across the water in this. Uh, yeah. Just do piece by piece damage if I can. I gotta be so careful with them. They're hard, like. Health! Health! That was another secret item, so. Uh. Oh, lovely. And a rupee. Go on, last guy. Oh, don't be the one to cause me. Don't be the one to cause me the issues now. There we are, okay, so we got bombs. Handy, very handy. And we can now, finally, we can move on and explore the rest of this dungeon. Remember, those guys don't damage me, they just push me around and disable my weapon for a time being. But, I can still use, whilst I can't use the sword, I can still use the boomerang. So luckily, the only people left to deal with are bats. I do wonder, is there a way of taking on those, uh, those enemies? In fact, I should actually consult the walkthrough yet again as, oh, well, not walkthrough, the manual to see. Okay, so as you can see, these guys are called Bubble, and the Bubble is the spirit of the dead. When it clings onto Link, he won't be able to unsheat his sword for a while. Like, I presume there probably is a way of taking on that particular enemy, but uh, I don't currently know it because I did try quite a lot the last time I remember on them all uh, to no avail. So I suppose I'm just going to assume for the time being that there is actually no way to take them on. Okay, so I've searched through almost all of the rooms now, I think. I think so. I don't know if I was this far over to the right down here, so I will take a quick look. Leave me alone. There's more knights in here. I didn't defeat these guys, so I never opened this door, so this might be worth using some of these bombs on for that reason. That's what I like to see. It's, ama it's astounding how quickly you can end up using the bombs on these guys. Oh, I'm on half health. It needed to be done. I needed to get into this room. I need to see what's in this room. Please don't be another monster. Okay, they're dealable. All these guys are dealable. All dealable. Brilliant, and we got some rupees up the corner. And we open this door up into the boss. Now, I'm not going to be able to take on the boss because I have absolutely no bombs. 
So I'm going to have to have a quick look around the cavern and also my life is quite low. Okay, possibly health from one of these dudes. Possibility. No health. And we were in here. So I'm looking like I might actually have to die. Uh, to regain a bit of health because I don't have anything left and I've been to every room. I don't think I killed everyone in the top left side of the uh, swastika. So I'll just head up there very quickly and have a look. Uh, at least there was some health. Did one of these open the door. And we had the man who told me about the guy with the waterfall. I did get the sword, sir. Thank you for the tip. He told me that I can only have it if I master it. I don't really 100% know what he meant by that, but... However... I'd really rather not die. That bat really wanted to taste me. Nothing in here. I don't think so, anyway. And it's not suggesting to me that I can blow a hole in any of these particular walls. Okay. Do I... Uh, well, like, I don't have enough bombs, really, so I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to maybe head back to a shop to get the bombs. And there was a shop close enough to where I am, so I'm going to head to that shop and get bombs. Hello, sir. Can I have some bombs? Thank you very much, sir. I'm going to go back in and buy some more bombs from you, sir. Can I have some bombs, sir? Maybe I'll have to get that shield at some stage. Is it a one-time use shield, or is it a shield that I can keep using, I wonder? Okay, right. I have enough bombs, so I'm going to head back now to the dungeon. And you know what? I might even go visit the fairy. Ooh to give me full health while I'm here. Thank you very much. Much obliged. Much obliged. Get out of there. I didn't go the right way. Right, let's head down to the dungeon as I said. Oh, I lost. Okay, here we go. Let's take on this boss again, who was quite hard, but I'm gonna use bombs to my advantage here, hopefully. One go. W seriously. Wow. Holy smokes. That was... That was... Fa after all my... <laughs> after all my adventuring to get all that gear, that was fairly epic, I have to admit. <laughs> Brilliant, and I can be kicked out of the dungeon. I think that's an 100% dungeon. I think. I don't want to say when any... Serious certainty, but I feel like that was a 100% dungeon. I'm gonna check with these lads. Is there anything hidden? Because I think the idea with these statues is they're super annoying to fight, of course. But I feel the statues might all potentially be hiding something. So I think it's a case of that I should check all of them outside each dungeon anyway, just in case. I know I keep referring to them to uh, referring to them as dungeons, even though they are not. Okay, that is level three marked off the list. I'm going to head down here now to the map, and we're going to consult what we might do the next time. Okay, so we can mark. Level 3 as complete, or at least that's how I feel about that experience. Now, I do need to also make sure that I've marked off everything else that we discovered on this journey today. So we have another Switch Life Fairy. If we ever need to use her services again, we can go there. That's lovely. Lovely stuff, right? So next time, what are we doing? What are we doing? We have to get to level 4. And it looks to me as if right there, we've got a little dock that we might be able to use our newly found raft to make our way over to level 4. Now, I also did notice 
when I was up on this side of the map. I think it was roughly here, actually. I think it was right here. It was this square. We saw another area as a potential place to use a raft question mark. So I'm going to put that there. Um, hopefully be able to move it into the spot that I require. Raft question mark? <laughs> Actually, like, I really like this, uh, this whole messing with the, with the map, you know. I, I think it's really cool and it, and it kind of just gives me a little thing to do at the end of each episode. So we can potentially try that raft the next time, I feel. Um, also, I haven't been to this dungeon here, so that might be one to check out. Um, I didn't quite see what that question mark was. I feel it might be this bush. Maybe when we get to this potential, uh, like I have a feeling there's a lot of burning of bushes in this game that I'm going to be doing, so. Um, I don't have the item for that, obviously, yet. And this old lady that says nothing. The old lady that says nothing. I think I might need to potentially find something to give to her. That's the feeling I get. Um, okay, and we also did look here as well at this particular question mark, and I'm not sure what the second switch um, pond is about. These trees are brown, those trees are green. Maybe it has something to do with that. Um, the Lost Woods, we haven't gone over that far yet. Um, there's a couple more question marks. That maybe might be a graveyard, actually, this area here. So there's a potential that we could take a trip over there. And it looks it actually looks like maybe the only way to get to that area is either through a cave we haven't been yet, or a cave that we haven't opened, or it's uh, potentially, you know, I must take the raft and head over there. I wonder, can you land anywhere, or do you have to land on a dock? Um, we will find it, that out next time and yeah i don't really see anywhere else right now maybe this dungeon or dungeon maybe this area we might check out um can we use the raft to go to the heart piece i suppose you need a dock to take off from there i don't think there was a dock there we could potentially try it but I feel like, um, oh yes, I actually must mark that area off. Sorry, no, I'm flying around the map. I must mark this area off because we actually found a man in here, didn't we? Was it another shop or did he give us something? But uh, I'll mark it off. I'll just mark it off with an X. We looked at that. We found the cave. I think maybe he gave us a note. That's a possibility. Anyway, um, I think it's look, it's uh, as per usual, next time we will be looking at level 4. We'll be heading across that dock, and uh, I'm sure many, many other things will come up on our merry, merry way when we head there. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to very quickly die, or as quickly as I can die because of my new found armor that's absolutely protecting me at all costs. Because, you know, we want to always start off in the first area, because why not? It's kind of fun to look around the world, in a way. And we're going to do this. We're going to be very careful. We're going to press select once, and we're going to press start to save the game. And there we are. Oh, and he's even got the different tunic on the, uh, the menu. That's very cool. I really like that. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. And uh, I will see you again on the continuing adventures of Link in The Legend of Zelda. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.